Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to discuss with you something about the chickens. Uh, as you can see, I have just given my chicken water. And you see that they are eager to, to take the water. So I have um, deprived of uh, this chicken of water for a couple of hours, like about four hours. Uh, this is because I wanted to give uh, Ambrolium. Ambrolium is... Um, a preventive uh, medicine or medicine for coccidiosis. Uh, in the morning when I came to feed the chicken, I realized that their droppings was kind of uh, orangish. Uh, that is one sign. Uh, that is probably one sign that your chicken uh, has uh, coccidiosis. And this can come from probably the chicken also uh, eating their droppings. Uh, that is the major kind of uh, way that I can I can say that causes that. Uh, when I have a look at my bedding, I see that uh, there's a lot of droppings in there. That's also another signal that I should be changing the, the bedding and what I we, and what we use we, we use uh, coffee husks. Uh, if you have uh, any coffee husks or if you have wood shavings, or uh, if you have um, this, this stuff that comes when they're processing uh, rice, uh, that is going to be good to act as a bedding in your, in your chicken coop. So I have um, given Ambrolium, and also if you realize, I have mounted uh, my egg uh, laying box, uh, because I still uh, witnessed that the chicken was still eating the eggs. Uh, but I see it's it's afternoon and I have two eggs which I have got today and the chickens have not been able to eat them. I'm going to leave them uh, in here uh, so that um, I can kind of test it out whether I will be able to find them uh, tomorrow. So that's what we have done today with the chicken and you see they are still uh, drinking the water. This is because they have actually been uh, very thirsty. Today has been a very hot day. Uh, we deprived them of water since morning. Uh, this is what we do when we intend to give any form of medication and if we need to give any form of multivitamin. One thing that we have consistently given is, is these yam leaves. And uh, guys, this is a way that you can use to kind of cut on the cost of your feed. Uh, this one is something that you can just plant in your backyard, one or two, three plants. And they will produce for you enough leaves to be able to feed your chicken and turkeys. Uh, these are my two turkeys. Uh, what I have for now, uh, that is the male. And uh, unfortunately, guys, uh, the other day uh, we lost uh, the white turkey, uh, the, the one which was laying eggs. Uh, we lost it. Uh, we realized that I think there was some kind of fight uh, because it had lost a lot of blood. And then... Uh, we actually found it when it was in real bad situation. So we have lost that one, but uh, nevertheless, these are things that are expected if you choose to get into livestock farming. So that can't be really something that we are going to cry about. Of course, we are sad that uh, that did happen, but nevertheless, we have we have to move on. So uh, guys, uh, le le let's go and I show you the, the, the turkey chicks. Uh, which this black turkey here hatched. Uh, if you have been following the videos, it hatched four chicks. Uh, come with me and I show you how far they have grown. And, and also we, we, we talk a little bit on what we are doing to ensure that uh, we're having that high survival rate. Uh, so guys, today it's exactly uh, five weeks and five days uh, since uh, these turkey chicks hatched. And there were four. And uh, today, as you can see, we still have all the four. As you can see that uh, they have kind of uh, grown. Uh, this is the size as of five weeks. So you can also do some kind of comparison and see uh, how uh, a five weeks uh, turkey chick is going to look like. So uh, guys, it, it's quite interesting that we have uh, managed to keep all the, uh, the four turkeys. And, and this is also partly because of the measures that we have put in place. Uh, one being that we moved them from the floor and 
we put them in this uh, wire mesh cage uh, that uh, has assisted with uh, uh, keeping them disease free. Uh, since we, we got them in here, we haven't had any issues. Although today, like you've seen us giving uh, the chicken um, rolliam, we have also given uh, these turkeys, so it is here in the water. Uh, but we have also given uh, the other old turkeys uh, where we have just been. So we also give them uh, these yam leaves. Uh, all, uh, all our birds, uh, we give them these yam leaves to kind of give them green matter because we don't allow them to scavenge for themselves uh, outside. And, and partly I think that has also helped us uh, to be able to keep uh, diseases out, out of our homestead. So that's what we, we, we have been doing with our chicken and we also intend to do the same uh, with turkeys because that has given us amazing results. Even when there is disease outbreak in the community, our chicken has always remained untouched. So we believe that if we practice the same thing here with the turkeys, we are also going to have a disease-free uh, turkeys. So these are the turkeys at five weeks, guys. Uh, you can see for yourself. Uh, you see that uh, you can't have actually this kind of size uh, with the chicken. So I, I still believe that uh, the turkeys will be a better source of meat for any homestead as compared to, to the chicken. Uh, this is because of the size difference. Uh, you see that just at five weeks, you're having the chick as big as this and and this is going to be very important because if you're looking out for meat uh it's going to be interesting how you can get uh these chicks uh to to grow at a faster rate of course uh, someone is going to urge you out that how does this compare to like this broiler chicken which are meant out to be for meat and 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 these are consumed at about three to four weeks uh, we really don't uh, like having that as our source of, uh, of meat uh, because we just don't feel the taste for that kind of chicken. Something that has been raised for just three weeks is, is, is really not uh, to our taste. Uh, that's why we chose to, to, to pick the croiler chicken for eggs and, and also it's dual purpose. You can have it for meat. But also we, we do indigenous chicken which I believe is the best tasting chicken that you can have out there. Though it's going to cost you a lot more than uh, the broiler chicken if in terms of raising it because it doesn't grow at that much faster rate. But if you're going to be feeding uh, leaves like we do here, uh, trust me, you will still manage. And, and, and the other advantage is that you see with your broiler chicken, you are not able to feed uh, this kind of, of of leaves, those those chicks are meant to eat commercial feed, and and that's what they have been designed for. If if you really need something uh, to give you meat, I I I still think that uh, the turkeys could be the best way to go because the way I've seen the way they grow, and when I compare it with how much uh, time our chickens take to to even get to this size, uh, this size which you see here. It, it really takes more time for the chicken uh, than we are seeing here with the turkeys. Now, the second thing that I would like to, to talk about is going to be uh, the feed. Uh, we have transitioned from um, a starter feed. Now, we are doing uh, this uh, corn. Uh, this is maize uh, with soya and cotton seed cake. So that's the mixture that we have here. Uh, this is really inexpensive as compared to the starter feed which we were originally uh, feeding. Uh, but also that starter feed has a high quantity of, of protein. But because it is too costly, you can't, you can't feed it out to your chicken throughout their lifetime. Uh, by the time you slaughter a chicken, uh, you will have uh, incurred the cost of raising a cow. So for, for, for us to, to cut on the cost... We, we had to uh, transition these uh, young chicks to the uh, feed that we give uh, to the rest of the of the chicken. And this is our, um, a mixture of maize, uh, soya. Soya is literally for, for protein. Uh, the cotton seed cake will give us some kind of fat uh, in there. So, and then we add in minerals and... Um, and vitamins, uh, then we are good to, to go. Uh, this is something that we mix here from the homestead. 
because we also find it uh, very expensive to just go and buy a pre-mixed uh, feed from the feed store. So guys, if you enjoy watching this kind of content and you would like to, to have a self-sufficient home, uh, please subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of, of videos that we share here regarding how we are trying to raise your, our own food and our own meat and eggs. Uh, if that is something that you find interesting, uh, please endeavor to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next video.